Uh-oh, this looks like trouble. I'll know they're bullies if they use my full name. Well, look who it is, Chris Griffin. Oh, boy. Hey, fat ass. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh, my God, poor Chris. He's a social outcast like Scarface. God, you can see that? The doctor said you wouldn't be able to. Yes, everyone can see that. That's why we call you Scarface. Hey, Chris, uh, I wanted to talk about what happened at school. Is that a dead gerbil in there? You know, the way those kids were picking on you today in school, you really have got to stand up for yourself. Stewie, it's not so easy. What would you say if I said, hey there, shorty? Of course not. You're sweet and simple. But even you could learn enough to outsmart those cretins at your school, and they'll respect you for it. In fact, I'll teach you how. I mean, a fella's name on first base. Who? The fella playing first base. Who? The guy on first base. Who? I'm asking you who's on first. Who? All right, Chris, here they come. Now, remember what we practiced. Now, what are you going to call the one in the middle? Isosceles triangle. Hey. Quick, here they come. You're even uglier up close, Griffin. But I heard that from your mom while I was doing her. You're a butt baby. That's why you've got moles all over your chest. Leftover birth duke. <laughs> Watson, a clue. The intruder has tracked in a red clay, which can only be found near London's homosexual bathhouse. I know it's technically not illegal, but it seemed wrong when your music teacher wrapped a trap. Hey, why don't you pick on someone your own religion who can fight for themselves? And you're not so tough. Hey, Chris, what you did there for that sweaty Jew, that was really nice. Back away, foul wench. Your wide hips hold no temptation for me. Finally, a guy who listens. Here's my number. Call me. God, there's like no one hot at this school this year. Okay, students, take your seats. Next, it's time for nominations for student body president. As of now, we have the perpetually upbeat black kid running unopposed. I nominate Chris Griffin. Chris, they love you. I'm a better coach than God. Oh, hey, Stewie. Ready to go to school? Well, actually, Chris, I've got good news. Oh, I'll take the bad news first. What are you talking about? I'm running for class president. I need you. What are you doing? You're coming to school with me whether you like it or not. I'll never get to express disappointment with young people while putting in my dentures. Stupid younger generation. Back in my day, we had Katy Perry. Day five of my imprisonment inside Chris's backpack. Feces and the build-up thereof continues to be my number one problem. This could be my chance to escape this canvas cage. That sounds like an open door. Which way is out? God, I love walking in the hall. There, that way. Good morning, students. First of all, I don't care what the courts say. Let's thank the Christian God together. I'm done. I'm not saying another word. You can't hold me prisoner in here forever. Why not? Name one person who loves you. Wow. Thanks for letting me go first. I got an hour and a half drive home after this. You're not getting it, Chris, are you? You were being bullied day in and day out, so I tried to help you. Oh, my God. You're right. And now, an opening statement from our second... My sister has MS. <laughs> I'm worried what you're gonna do with her. I'm out. I'm not running. And neither is she. And I'm treating people terribly. Much like Jeff Sucker when he ran NBC. I'm sorry, Stewie. Can you forgive me? <sighs> All right. This election is postponed. Go back to class. Oh, and another thing. Stop making fun of teachers who don't have cars. You know, Chris, what you did on that stage took a lot of guts. Two of them shot themselves. Oh, that's so good to hear, Chris. Damn it, we're surrounded!
guess I just have this pathological need to be liked. Well, it's not a good trait. Oh, come on, don't say that. Let me buy you lunch. All right, so uh, I guess we'll split the bill 13 ways? Hey, Judas, he ordered like five margaritas. All you had was a salad. Done um, this several times today, and your husband just isn't responding. Well, have you tried this? The number one song for the 10,000th week in a row. Hiya, hiya, hiya. Well, no matter. We better restore things to the way they were. Let's go back to Jamestown and undo. Oh, dear. What? What is it? Hmm. What? What, 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 what is that? What, what is that? Hmm. What, 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 what are you looking for? What are you looking for specifically? Well, let's hope so, because otherwise they're going to kill us. Yeah, they'll stick us on some kind of white people reservation. So annoying. Everyone was coming around with their daughters selling Girl Scout corn. Made me feel so guilty. I had to buy like 20 ears. What the hell are you doing there? You told me you were checking on the horses. Well, she's a sizable woman. That's what I meant. Hey, hi, how are you today? Good to see you. Listen, uh, we've just been informed that these guns are defective. Well, we're gonna go ahead and take these back. That's right, we're from Gunco. Shut up, you're blowing it. Get him, pale face. Hey, what are you gonna do with all those guns? I don't know, sell them to some messed up kid? The hell is that? Stewie? This time machine has almost killed us a hundred times, Priam. And yesterday was just too close a call. I, I can't believe you just destroy it. Trust me, Brian, it's for the best. And hey, at least I've had some fun with it. Wow, good timing, little fella. This just came out today. Uh, yeah, I kind of knew that already. God, look at all the perfectly good stuff that people just throw out for no reason. I don't know, it's mostly twin mattresses. If you have a twin mattress on... You know, we should take this home and set it up, get some fresh air, get some exercise. Well, I suppose I could use a new hobby now that the time machine is gone. Women, we have spent decades fighting for our right to vote. So when you go to those booths and cast your ballot, remember... God, look at this day, huh? You know, usually I'd be sitting inside writing, you'd be working on one of your machines, but... had to share the ambulance with a chicken. Um, aren't you supposed to be running around? Don't talk to me. I'm so sorry, Mrs. Griffin, but Brian's injuries are just too severe for us to save him. Oh, my God! Brian, no! I can't believe it. You... I was gonna be a little better than you, but we were both gonna be good. You guys, I think, I think Brian's trying to say something. I love you all. He's... Yes, Chris. I'm afraid... I'm afraid that our Brian is dead. Guys, I'm gonna need a few minutes alone upstairs. I gotta do, like, a, a sad yank. Oh, happy birthday, Neil. Dewey, how are you? Uh, not well, Yusuf. I need your help. I have to track down a titanium capacitor for a high wattage... What do you mean? You've gotten them for me before. I know, but the one guy who made those drew a doodle of Mohammed, so he's not around anymore. Oh, that's awful. Okay, Yusuf, thanks anyway. Oh, dear, Rupert. Problem, Lois. You know, I usually don't come to funerals. Since I'm a cop, I always wind up getting hit by a black woman with a man. You Brian's a dog. Wide. You became a cop. Okay. I know Peter wanted to say a few words. <sighs> oh boy, this is um um. The truth is, Brian wasn't just my dog. He was my best friend in the whole world. I I'm gonna spend the rest of my life missing him. <laughs> We're all gonna miss him, Peter. <laughs> Damn it, Ortiz, stop swinging at junk. 